Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Mass. I want to issue a special welcome to our school children because this being Wednesday, we wanted to try and provide a Mass that would also be for our school. So this Mass is being watched in the morning by our school children or at some point during the day and then posted in the evening for everybody else to share as well. Let's remember all of our school families, our faith formation families in this Mass and ask God to continue to bless us in these unusual and difficult times. I just want to share with you some of the things I have on the altar, because as well as the uh, chalice that you can see here, I also have a prayer list, which is always on the altar at the moment, praying for everybody who is working really hard to protect us and to keep us safe, to help anybody who is sick, and also doing things like truck drivers taking food to the stores and the people working in the stores, uh, things like that, just to help us to be able to get food and have what we need. All of those people are on the front line right now, and so we want to especially remember them. And so we have their names here at Mass with us. I also have a prayer, which is the prayer for spiritual communion, and we will share that uh, after I receive Holy Communion. It's your way of being able to join to communion today. And then finally, at the very end, I'm going to pray the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel because we're in a kind of spiritual and uh, health-wise a medical battle right now. And we need to ask the archangels and the saints to pray for us too. So let us begin Mass in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is mediator of a new covenant, so that by means of his death, those who are called may receive the promise of eternal life. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children sanctified by penance. And in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach? Meshach and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I have made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments, otherwise you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace, and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even he will not know, O king, that we will not serve your God, or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army find Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar explained, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent this his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. 
They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glory. Praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne above the cherubim. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me, because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading today was that beautiful reading, a great story, very powerful story, of um, Meshach, Abednego, and the other guy whose name I've just forgotten, and we're recording this, so you're just going to have a good laugh at that. But the three men who were facing death had great courage. 
their whole situation had changed. All of a sudden, they had gone from being free and being able to do what they would wanted to do to having to do something they did not want to do, which was to lay down their lives for God. You and I find ourselves at a time when we're having to do things in very new and very different ways. The way in which your teachers are teaching you, the way in which your parents are working, often from home, the way in which your lessons are conducted, everything has changed. And yet we continue to grow in our knowledge and love of the world that God has given us. But most importantly, in our knowledge and love of God. And what the scriptures reveal to us today is that God has not abandoned us or forgotten us. Jesus reminds the Jews that he has been sent by God. And if they will believe in him and follow him, then they can have eternal life. But so many of them are reluctant to change, reluctant to embrace their new situation, more interested in being unkind and untruthful than following the truth that Jesus gives them that will set them free. For you and for me, we also are disciples of Jesus, called to love him, to serve him, and to know him, so that we can be with him forever in heaven. The way that we do that right now is by having patience and kindness to one another. The three men who are going to be thrown into the fire weren't picking fights or picking, pointing the finger at each other or bad-mouthing each other in a bid to save their lives. They were united as one in their determination to love God and to love their neighbor. That's what you have to do today as well. Be determined as they were. Ask God the Holy Spirit to fill your heart with love and with peace and with courage so that although we don't know when this situation will end, we do know that God is still with us. And just as you're seeing Mass on a video today, I wanted to remind you too that throughout the world, here at St. Brendan's and all churches throughout the world, Mass is still being said. We're still offering the sacrifice of Jesus for the salvation of the world and for each other. We may not have public mass, and it's certainly very different for me to be in the church building with nobody in the pews, just me here all by myself. But as I offer this sacrifice, we are united together in prayer. And so mass has not stopped or ended. It's just like your home situation, it's just become a little different. So today, let's place our trust in God let us ask Jesus to help us to be true disciples in everything that we do, and let us have courage together to persevere. Let us pray now for the church and for the world, and let us give thanks to God for his goodness. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish and school, that we will, we will remain united in prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our teachers who are teaching us in new ways, and for all of our students, that we may be given wisdom and understanding in our lessons. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all of those who are on the front line, our medical staff, our grocery store workers, our police, and emergencies, emergency services. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who are sick, especially those who are in hospitals, that God will strengthen them and heal them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all the priests, that they have been trained to go to the hospitals and minister to people who have the coronavirus, especially Father Bob and Father Ed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, that God will give them eternal rest and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father, accept these prayers offered in the name of Jesus, your Son, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ. Humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings, which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life. And being rich in mercy, you constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness alone. Never did you turn away from us, and though time and again we have broken your covenant, you have bound the human family to yourself through Jesus, your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that it can never be undone. Even now you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation, and as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus, and a desire to be of service to all, while they entrust themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love, and proclaiming our joy at the salvation that comes from you, we join the heavenly hymn of countless hosts, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom. Until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want you to know that uh, it is no fun, in a sense, saying Mass without all of you here present. It's not easy for any of us. And I think by now all of us are realizing this is not like being on summer recess or vacation. So please be patient with us. Please be patient with each other. And we promise you to try and bring you not only your schooling, but also your faith every day here at this altar, even if you cannot be with us. Let's make a spiritual communion now. Let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Until we are together again, God bless.